Hello everyone and welcome to this hidden staircase tutorial. This staircase is using 12 flying machines, but the cool part is you can use as many or as few flying machines as you'd like. The staircase is shown by pressing the blue button. And it's hidden again by pressing the yellow button. Cool, now I'll show you how to build it. Place down two immovable objects. I'm using obsidian, but you can use furnace for instance. Uh, now go up one, two to the side, and add a new platform. Up one, two to the side, you have a new platform. Do this for as many flying machines as you'd like to have in your build. There we go. Now we can start building the flying machines. And you do this by placing a sticky piston on the right side and then add four slime blocks in this fashion. Upside down sticky piston right there. Go to the side of it or the back of it and place two blocks, one on the side and finally four concrete powder on top. It can be sand as well, just any gravity block. Now it's time to place in the observers. And you do this by placing two blocks like this and observer. Do not remove this block or this thing will break. Twice up here. And this block is okay to remove. This is the first flying machines. And while we're at it, let's just place a sticky piston, two blocks in front of this block. Cool, I'll show you once more. So stick a piston on the right, four slime blocks like this, upside down stick a piston, two blocks in the back, one on the side, four gravity blocks. Time to place the observers. Once again, do not remove this block. And finally, the last observer. And don't forget the sticky piston to the side. Cool. Now do this for every platform. Now it should look something like this. And when you get to the last machine, add another platform on the top like this. And finally surround the entire build in a loop of any block. Now these block will act like a stop for the flying machines because currently the piston is pushing 11 blocks and the push limit is 12. So when it gets to these two final blocks, it will try to push 13 blocks, but it will not be able to and therefore it will stop. And there we go. Now we will put in some redstone to power all these pistons, which will trigger all the observers activating the flying machines. We will do this by placing blocks behind the piston like this and one to the side, behind and one to the side. Until you get to the top, then place a redstone dust on every block that's behind a piston. And for the remainder blocks, we will add a repeater. And by using a temporary button, we can see if the flying machines actually work. And there we go. Hopefully they'll stop. some lag right there, but yes, everything worked. Good. Now we want to do the same circuit for the observers at the top. And we do this by placing a block two spaces in front of it. Don't actually place the block right in front of it or this entire thing will break. So you just do it in this fashion in front of every single observer, just like this. Now place a sticky piston behind every block. When you have done this, place a row of blocks behind the pistons 
and place a redstone dust on every block that's touching a piston and on the other blocks place a repeater like this and now if we add temporary button again hopefully the flying machines will fly down and yes they are Now we want to redirect the redstone to the starting platform by placing a yellow button right here and a blue button right here. Underneath it we just place all the redstone needed. Just like this. And remember to place a repeater after every 15th block so the redstone signal can actually reach the pistons. Now let's do the yellow signal as well. And here it is, when you press the button, this redstone block will activate the redstone, leading all the way over here, activating the pistons. So let's see if this thing actually works. Closing works. Let's see if it can be opened. Yes. And if we want to be able to open and close it at the bottom, we just do this. Place on glazed terracotta so it doesn't stick to the pistons and redirect redstone directly up to the other redstone and the same with this button, redirecting it to the yellow line. Now that's it from me. Thank you all so very much for watching this tutorial. If you liked it, please give it an upvote, and if you really liked it, just build it in your own base. Thank you.